Let's get back to your first alert forecast now, but first a live look over Bellingham behind me. Rainy conditions across uh, much of the area this weekend, and that's been the story of the last couple of days. Uh, but the question on this Easter for Leah Pizzetti is, um, when will the sun be back? It's coming back, Sebastian. <laughs> it's on the way. It's going to take its sweet time getting here. We do still have to deal with a little bit more rain, but I do have sunny skies in my seven day, which I'll get to in just a moment. But hey, different story right now. We have raindrops on our camera at SeaTac. It is windy out there as well, currently sitting at 55 degrees. Uh, which is actually warmer than what we've felt these last few days, but still cooler than normal for this time of year. You can see exactly who has seen uh, the most rain as expected. It's the Olympic Peninsula. Quileute has picked up more than two inches so far. Shelton surpassing one inch. The rain is definitely favoring our southern areas. Seattle just at about uh, half an inch so far. Tacoma and Olympia at about a third. Up to the north, we're staying dry, although we do have a little bit of light rain over there uh, right now. This is all thanks to a nice atmospheric river. It's basically like a fire hose in the sky, just pumping moisture toward us. You can see that stream of moisture over the Pacific and it is geared toward those southern areas. That's why we're seeing higher rain totals down there. A little bit of a rain shadow as well up to the north, but you can see it's really that widespread light rain that we saw today. Pockets of moderate rainfall as well. There's that rain shadow. <laughs> Look at that. You can see Mount Vernon and Bellingham only just now starting to fill in a little bit of rain, but actually staying mostly dry through the day. Not the case for most of us. It was certainly a gray day and we're going to continue to see rain for the next day or so before it starts to taper off into tonight. It's the same situation. We'll see uh, most of that rain favoring uh, the southeast down by Olympia and then south of that as well. A little bit of rain picking up over Mount Baker uh, could see uh, some isolated areas of moderate to heavy rainfall as well. We'll catch a little bit of a break overnight. This is showing our early morning hours to morning. Southern friends could still see a little bit of rain overnight, but a break overnight and then into tomorrow morning, it picks back up again. But there's that fire hose uh, geared directly at really the southeastern parts of Western Washington. So the Olympic Peninsula actually going to stay a little bit more dry tomorrow up to the north, a little bit more dry tomorrow. We could see some showers, but it's going to favor our southern areas. Same thing into Monday evening, uh, starting to fill in a little bit into Tuesday, we taper off. We still hang on to a little bit of rain uh, and snow levels dropping down to a couple thousand feet into Tuesday. Uh, but for now, it's that widespread rain. Uh, you can see those rain totals as well into tomorrow going to favor places like Renton, Puyallup, Olympia, Chehalis, while up to the north, very minimal rain totals expected. Temperatures for tomorrow are going to drop back down. We are back in the 40s. It's going to be another cool, cloudy and rainy day for tomorrow and temperatures will stay cool for just a couple more days. We're going to hover around that 50 degree mark through about Thursday. Come Friday, we start to warm up. We will be drying out as well into next weekend. It does look like the 60s will return and we will see some of that sunshine. Sebastian.